I still got my plug on standby and my skill. I still got my plug on standby and my skill. I still got my plug on standby. Hey, what's going on, man? I want to give y'all a little video. This video right here, or oh, this, by the way, this Ice Water 815, be forgetting about that sometime. Be getting some new subs, they might not know who I am, you know what I'm saying? Little man got a truck, do a little something, something out here, really off the spot market, but. It is what it is. Hey, um, if you don't already have a load board that you're using and you're on an operator, man, check the link in the description and you can get 30 days free on the DAT load board following our little code that I got. And and to the people that have signed up under me, um, definitely y'all can reach out to me, you know what I'm saying, if y'all got any questions and want to know anything about the load board, I'll definitely help you out on that. This video right here, I just wanted to go over the low board got like this mobile app that I think is real cool. So I want to go over it real quick. So I'm going to use this phone here and start recording my screen. And we're going to start now. All right, so I'm going to put this up on the screen real quick. And what I usually do is... Uh, go to Chrome and I already got it set up to search for the low board. The one that I go to is DAT.com. DAT.com. You can put that in if you want to. It don't really matter. And it'll bring up this screen right here. And those little three bars on the side where it say log in, I'm going to hit log in. And then when the options come up with that power, that express, I'm click out of that. I'm looking for that trucker's edge. That's what I'm looking for. So I hit that trucker's edge. It's gonna ask you to log in and all that good stuff. You have all your login information. Put your password in, hit log in. Now I just wanted to show this real quick because it's a difference between searching for loads this way and using the mobile app. So I just wanted to show both of them real quick. What I like the most about DAT is on that, on that opening screen when it first come up, it's gonna let you know the inbound loads that's posted and the outbound loads that's posted. So I went over this before in one of my other videos about you want to make sure that if you're going into a place, you want to make sure you can come out of a place. So you always want to look like, like take for instance, Florida right here. It's telling me it got 155 loads coming in and only 49 coming out. Now, granted, this is at what 7.40 p.m., but that's just an example I'm going to use. If this was during the day, more than likely I wouldn't go to Florida. The radar had to be really, really well because it's going to be a lot of competition for loads coming out. You know, you want to look for something where it's pretty equal at, like Indiana. 186 to 198, I'll take my chances in Indiana. Um, so Minnesota, it's a snowstorm in Minnesota right now. Nobody wants to go to Minnesota. 127 loads to 409 coming out. You won't get a load out of there and it's going to pay good. So anyway, that's off the subject real quick. So go to search lows. And when you go to search lows, I ain't really sure why my phone taking so long. Let's just put in, let's put in Chicago. Let's put in Chicago, Illinois. And I usually put my search radius at like 100. And we're going to change the date for tomorrow. Because obviously we on the low board kind of late. And we just going to search and see what type of loads come up. When they come up. Oh yeah, I always like to, uh, when the search do come up, I always like to search by deadhead origin. I don't know, it's just a habit. I just want to know the loads closest to me right now. You know what I'm saying? And where they going to. So let's take for instance... Let's just take the first load because we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. Chicago to Dixon, Illinois, right? If I was to click on this load, another screen will pop up. And from that screen, I could look at the details about the load. I could see if they put a price in for the offer. If I had an upgraded subscription, which I don't, I could see what the average rate is for that lane. But I'm getting the company name. I'm getting the contact information. I'm getting what office it is. I'm getting the credit score, days to pay, whatever other information they're going to put on here. And so if I wanted to call them, I simply would just 
tap this button right. I would tap on the phone number and then it would come up in my dial pad, okay? So that's 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 nice. That's nice. I like that. Okay. Now we've looked at let me close out of that. All you gotta do is tap it basically. And of course you can tap on their name and you can go read their reviews and all that good stuff. That got all that set up. Now we're gonna come out of here though. And we're going to go to the mobile app, which is a lot more user friendly, especially like when you out on the road. And it's going to ask me to sign in again, which it should. And now this is the mobile one. This is the DAT load board. This is the mobile one. So it's asking me right now to create a search. I could always set my home city and do all that good stuff, but I kind of just like it this way. And... I'll create a search. It asks me, do I want to get home or do I want a new search? I don't have no home city set, so I'm going to go new search. And it's trying to get my location, but I got my location turned off, so we're going to put it in Chicago. And we're going to leave the destination blank, but we're going to definitely change the date to the 13th tomorrow. And we're going to see how many loads come up. It's set for 100 miles already. We go to search. Again, what I like to the first thing I like to do is always I want the smallest deadhead. I want to get it on my back as soon as possible and get up out of here. Now, we're not seeing the same lows because I actually did a reefer search as opposed to doing a van search on the other one, but that's only because I wanted to show you that it's, it's really the same thing no matter what type of lows you're searching for. So let's look at this Sacramento, California load. Basically, when you click on it in this mobile version, it's giving you all that information that would have popped up in the other version, which is going to be the desktop version that you actually could look at on your phone. It's going to tell you the pickup date, the hours, the type it is, how much you need, how much it weighs, who has it. You got a phone number here where you could, you could click this phone number, you could call them. The one thing that's different is it'll show you like how many stars the company has with that particular office. Another thing that's really nice about the mobile thing is if you wanted to just scroll through the list and save some loads for later, they got this feature where you can add this load to the work list. And let me, I'll show you why that's important in a second. So say I'm scrolling down and I see something else I like, like I might like this Chicago to St. Louis. So I might look at that. I see that that's a partial I might be interested, I might not, i add that to the work list, right? Keep going, you know what I'm saying, you get the point. I might want to go to North Carolina. Uh, Alliance Shipper, y'all shipping a load from Chicago? All right, it's a partial load. I'm like, for $1,200? I'm like, really? So we'll add this to the list just to show you how it worked. Go back, available loads. So here, this is the search screen where I can edit my search and do something different. I can also sign up for email alerts. I can post a truck if I would like to. But the work list is the thing that I'm most impressed with as far as this app go. I can go back and look at the loads that I was interested in. I can click on them. I can see if I really want to call on them or not, or I can remove them from the work list simply by doing that. Go through here, look at this, be like, hey, okay. Let me call this broker on this and see if I can get some money out of them. If I can't get no money out of them, remove them from the list and I can just move down the list. So it sort of makes finding loads a lot easier, especially if you have your location on. It's going to search all the loads around you and it'll pull them right up for you. Those are two tools that you can use on your mobile phone. Which one do I prefer? I'm really indifferent. You know what I'm saying? I've been using it so long that it doesn't really matter to me. You could always submit feedback through the mobile app. They really want you to submit a lot of feedback. You can get help. You can call DAT support. You can do all that good stuff. You got their privacy. They got their privacy policy listed on here. So a lot of people have been making a lot of complaints about the app. Well, I, I should say making complaints. I should say giving feedback. That's probably the politically correct way to say it, but whatever the case may be. And they've made a lot of improvements to the app. So... Check it out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know if you need some help finding lows or whatnot. Um, I guess I'm here to help when I'm available. You already know what it is, man. Uh, this is why it's part 815. It don't matter what type of truck you drive as long as it'll deliver a load. But you ain't going to make no money in trucking if you can't keep that left door closed. And I'll see you next video, YouTube. Y'all be safe.
Been through a lot of pain in my life, and I pray the Lord take it all away.